Hey everybody, Brian from Bearable Traders here, Thursday, August 30th. And just going over a few trades we did in the room today. We had a pretty substantial watch list. We had lots of things happening, uh, lots of opportunities to uh, trade. And ANF was on the watch list. So again, try not to trade in the first five minutes. Um, that rule actually cost me because I was watching SIG and it did a opening range breakup. It was just a classic pattern and I, you know, happened at around 9.34, 9.33 and I just, uh, I, I, you know, I should have taken it. I didn't, I hesitated and, and then it started to run and then I thought, okay, I don't want to, I don't want to chase it, but it really ran. I know some people in the room took it and uh, good for them. Um, anyway, um, I did watch ANF. It did sell off. It was gapping down. I watched, waited for an opportunity um, to pull for this, uh, you know, uh, bounce, and uh, got it here at uh, you know twenty three sixty nine, <clears throat> and then we started to uh, started to cover forty five as it broke through this level, um, forty five, and then um, thirty five, thirty six down here. So. Um, you know, and then it started to come back up, and when it started holding this level, I just bailed on the rest of it, 51. So that was our, um, you know, first trade uh, of the day, and it worked out pretty good. So next trade was um, CGC, and, you know, I had to do a bit of waiting for this. I was uh, looking at all this, you know, our, the charts, and I was trying to find an opportunity, you know, a setup, just waiting. Um, I was telling people in the room, you you kind of you've got to hunt these out like almost like a crocodile. Um, you know, crocodiles aren't um, you know they're predators, but they don't they don't hunt. They don't like a lion. They they just they're predators of opportunity. And and that and as traders, that's what we have to be. We have to be predators of opportunity. Um, sit and wait and and look for the trades setups that are going to give you the best chance of being profitable. And um, so, you know, I was watching CGC, it's kind of choppy. I knew all the pot stocks were going to be choppy at the open. Um, and then eventually it started to break down through the view app. So, uh, you know, I watched it. And then when it did this, um, this flag here, I, I took an entry. It uh, got a real good entry on this 4469. <clears throat> and, um, you know, it broke through this level. And I covered some at uh, 42, probably got out a little too early, um, 41 and 52. I really wasn't sure. It kind of held there. It looked like it was going to hold um, at around that level, and then it uh, continued to break down below 44. So I just continued to watch it, and I thought, okay, now, you know, it's getting pretty extended. Um, the stocks are strong. Uh, pot, you know, pot stocks have been strong, especially CGC. And, uh, you know, and then I, you know, I always think of my, uh, my um, rule of thumb is you can't keep a good man down trade. And that's uh, what I was thinking about for CGC. I knew eventually buyers would come in. So I was watching it for a bottom. It got really extended here and I thought, okay, it's going to punch through 44 and then it's going to come back up. <clears throat> so I took the entry at 44.02 and I thought, you know, here's my downside risk here. And uh, I got this nice candle. I was, you know, fortunate. Uh, maybe if, um, that I got that trade, but I, I bailed on um, on a lot of it at uh, 4440 level. And uh, it started to, uh, didn't, I wasn't sure where it was going, so I bailed on the rest at uh, 27, 4427. So, you know, that wasn't a bad um, first volley. And then I figured, okay, it's probably, it looks like it's going to come back down and do a double bottom. And I kind of figured this was going to be the double bottom. So I entered here again. Uh, 4412. It did pop back up again, got back up to, um, you know, I sold some at 4443, was hoping it would, you know, continue higher to VWAP, but it didn't, so I just uh, bailed on the rest and uh, actually took, my, took an exit at right flat at 4412 again. And then I'm just watching it, um, you know, again, seeing if it's going to hold this level or, you know, this level, and it just seemed to hold here. And so I got in again, 4407. And this time, you know, let's see, three times, three, three times the charm. <clears throat> so I bailed on some at uh, 4438 and 42 because um, it was, you know, kind of figured this was a pretty serious level of resistance. 
but eventually, you know, it looked strong and it uh, continued up and I was looking for the, the view app number and I said that in the room, I'm either going to get, uh, you know, stopped out down here or I'm going to hit view app and we got to view app. So I was happy with that tra last trade. And you can see here, punch through and then kind of held view app and then went higher, but uh, I would uh, finish trading by then. So anyway, those are the trades guys. And, um, Hope everyone else had a good day. I know a lot of people traded SQ. That was a strong stock in the first hour for sure. <clears throat> and uh, MU seemed to be pretty strong. I know a number of other people took trades in the room and they were profitable. So, uh, and I think a, a couple people mentioned that they'd taken the CGC trade as well, which was great. Good deal, everybody. Have a good rest of the day and we'll see you in the room tomorrow, Friday.